Since the beginning of time, man has always desired to be on top of the world, to have the sky be the limit. He sees a challenge, he takes it. He sees a mountain and has the innate desire to reach the peak. That is where we begin. In 1492, the very first documented ascent of a mountain was done by Antoine de Villes on Mont Aigu. In 1786, the start of mountaineering's modern era is credited to Jacques Balmat and Michel Pacard's ascent of Mont Blanc. In 1875, George Anderson was the first to ascend the famous Half Dome in Yosemite National Park. Rock climbing, originally considered only a part of mountaineering, was now considered its own sport by 1880. Now fast forward to 1964. The concept of artificial rock climbing originated in the UK by Don Robinson. The first indoor climbing walls were originally going to be constructed primarily out of bricks, but it was limited on having interesting routes, steepness of the walls, and a variety of holds. Indoor rock climbing was invented so climbers could train during the off-season, and eventually it became an extreme yet mainstream sport. Here we are at Cliffhanger Coquitlam, where we are going to explore the sport of indoor rock climbing. Check this out. Behind these very walls, you can see how they are constructed with plywood and metal brackets, spray coated with a texture that is similar to that of an actual rock face. Over the years, indoor rock climbing has increased in popularity, where even the International Olympic Committee have allowed it to compete with other sports for entry to the Olympic Games. There are three different types of indoor climbing. They are top roping, lead climbing, and bouldering. Megan Markowski and Hannah Block, two accomplished competitive climbers, will briefly explain and demonstrate for us the three different types of indoor climbing. Top roping is when the rope is already set up at the top of the wall. With the rope is running through two anchors through the top. Lead climbing is when the climber brings the rope up the wall and clips it into the carabiners as they go up. on lead climbing is much larger than when you fall while climbing top rope. Top rope falls are generally only about a foot, a foot or two, as opposed to the 10 to 20 foot falls while lead climbing. Bouldering is a very different style of rock climbing. The walls are much shorter than on top rope or lead climbing. The walls are 25 feet or shorter with the crash pads to break your fall. Bouldering uses much more strength rather than endurance which you, top roping lead climbing uses. Rock climbing is a great sport where you can conquer your fears, solve puzzles, and stay fit. Be a rock star.